Hello YouTube, um, I'm Lul Stamp and this is a video to show the poor man's version of early game rotary craft and this we're going to show the extractor which is currently at work right now as you can see it's got its power requirements are met we're using a steel gearbox 16 to 1 and we're using four steam engines being supplied with water from one pump and DC electric motor. These four shafts are not necessary to the system. It is merely to allow for this device to be installed. The four motors are connected with a bevel gear, three shaft junctions, another bevel gear, the 16 to one, and another bevel gear to get the power into the bottom side of the extractor, which is where it wants it. As you can see, we're running on stages two and three right now. And originally I put in, I believe, 35 iron ore. Go back to slow, get that started again. Anyway, this whole setup and the sound muffler, which is not really optional, take my word for it, um, is all achievable very early game. Let me show you the parts list. This is everything that you'll need minus a few typos and maybe an error or two here and there but it's roughly correct I, I believe the um, 20 diamonds for the gearbox or the 30 HSLA for the steel are included here at the 173 if you're using steel and 20 diamonds if you're not there's four gold or copper and five netherrack in addition to the diamonds and the steel those are the hardest parts to acquire so I think you'll agree pretty pretty easy pretty early game um, later in the game you will be able to run eight hydrokinetic engines that are all upgraded with um, bedrock to run all four stages at the same time which makes the process ex much faster but um, you have to break bedrock for that and before you get to that stage I think you will you'll, you'll be using this quite handily for a good long time um, when you build this set up with the steam engines you may want to watch out for the temperature I'm not sure what level you have to be on I'm pretty close to the surface right here um, and as you can see they're at 104 C uh, so they don't need any coolers on them but I've also built a similar setup for processing lubricant very deep down close to bedrock and they all blew up so I have to put coolers on those to keep them from exploding but otherwise those are also not that expensive and um, the power is free and eternal, so not a big deal. The um, the steel gearbox is acceptable. I don't like to lubricate my gearboxes personally, so I run them on I run them on diamond when I can afford it. And at 20 diamonds, it's not it's not very affordable. But um, setting up a huge lubricant system is also kind of a pain. So as, let's see, there's 25, 38, 40, 54, 60, 76, 86. So there's 86 so far of the 35 that I've already put in. So it's essentially tripled at this stage and we're not very close to finished. So as you can see, it's, it's working. It is very early game accessible and free, as I said. So for rotary craft, it's pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. Um, do not use wood in gearboxes and do not use stone gearboxes. Take my word for it, they will break and turn into sawdust and some other mush, the stone, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope that this helps people that are trying to um, get into rotary craft. Thanks a lot.